Hi, my name is Paul Watson, creator and founder of Somebody to Love, the love and compatibility website that creates 1,440 different characters, some of which we will be discussing today. Now, I feel a little guilty saying this, but they are kind of the king and queen of Z-list world, but Chantel and Alex Reed are actually two very, very nice characters. And I said it here at least two, three months ago, watch those two because they are 80% compatible. It's fantastic. And if they don't get married, I'll be mildly shocked. Two Leos together, beautiful, because they just look in the mirror and go, you're beautiful. No, 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 you're beautiful. It's a vain face-off, but they love each other. Chantel's a pig, Alex is little hair. That's 100% compatible. Chantel's a water element, Alex is a wood element. That's 100% compatible. It's beautiful. They should actually have about 124 children. It's that good. So let's see what happens. But I said three months ago they'll get married and I still maintain they either should and or probably will. Happy birthday, Fern Cotton. 30 this week. She's a Virgo metal rooster. And although it's her birthday, it's been a little tough breaking up with a fiance, chucking herself into a relationship, kind of rebound-esque with Jesse, although it's compatible, 73%, pretty damn good. And this year is gonna to continue to be quite tough because it's the year of the hair this year. She's a rooster and any rooster in the year of the hair kind of struggles a little bit because they're each other's nemesis. But the great news for Fern is next year, amazing. Not only that, 2013, even better. So Fern, all you gotta do, enjoy your birthday and rest in the knowledge, chill out in the knowledge that 2012 and 2013 are amazing for you. Jedwood, twins, what's that all about? Now, the interesting thing with twins is the elder one, which we know to be John, and in any twin case, the elder one tends to be the most assertive, the stronger, the more extrovert. It tends to be a psychological thing. They're first born, they're slightly older, they feel protective of their younger brother. And again, this is the case with John and Jedward. He's a stronger character. But as characters themselves, they're Libran metal goats. That is as odd and as mad and as complex as it gets. Libra, incredibly strong. Metal element, incredibly strong. Goat, weakest animal there is, very, very fragile. So sometimes they'll appeal, appear incredibly assertive and manic, and, other, and that's the metal and the hair and the Libra, and other times they'll be kind of quiet and nervy and unsure about everything, and that's the goat, and they'll flip between the two. So they come across as mad and complex, and boy, they are. Now in the Big Brother house, there was this, I don't know, fake wedding, and John and Amy, John of Jedwood and Amy, we're kind of getting a little bit cozy. And they are 75% compatible because she is a Gemini metal horse, very strong, and he is a Libran metal goat. And the real connection there is a Gemini and Libra. That is 100%, that's amazing. So, you know, you never know where that might lead. Amy herself, well, she's not the brightest little thing on planet Earth, let's be honest about it but she's a metal horse and they are savvy as hell. So she's Gemini, mad, skitsy, bonkers, Essexy and everything else. But the metal horse, it knows exactly what's going on, it knows exactly what it's doing. Do not underestimate Amy Childs. She's not the brightest, she's not the most intelligent, she isn't gonna be the next Pulitzer winner, whatever you wanna call it, but she knows what is going on. And she may even end up marrying John of Jedwood. And how mad would that be? Big news, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. Well, it's rumored that they may be splitting up, but then they're denying it. So let's have a closer look at them. They're 50% compatible. Will is a Libra and Earth monkey. Cool dude, smooth, just as he comes across. Jada, a little more complex, Virgo metal pig. Now where this one could be brilliant, and in which case they will stay together, is on the metal pig and the earth monkey. That's beautiful, that's virtually 100%. However, where it could go wrong is the Virgo Libra. That is a shocker. 
It's appalling. It never works. So if they stay together, it's because of the pig and the monkey. And if they split up, it's because of the Virgo and the Libra. But we don't know. So let's wait and see.